All right, it's time to introduce you to Jennifer Walcott. We're going to learn all about her metal garden sculptures. You know, gardens are works of art in their own right with color, movement, texture, but no garden is really complete without a garden sculpture, whether it's something whimsical or adds a dash of panache. We're here with local Northfield artist Jennifer Walcott, whose work in metal is seen all over the state. Jen, <laughs> I was going to ask you, what's your inspiration? <laughs> My inspiration is a whole variety of things. Some of it is the natural forms that you find in the garden, things like seed pods. Some of it is the art that you see in medieval or Renaissance Italian gardens. It comes from all kinds of places. <laughs> That's a really wide variety there. Yes, it is. All right, well, what do you believe that sculpture brings to the garden? Uh, a, cu a couple of things. It's a contrast to the organic forms. And for instance, these guys, which are a very clean, simple geometric form, give your eye a chance to pause. Because you're looking at this whole tumultuous tangle of organic forms and colors and textures, as you right. said. Mm -hmm. And it's, your eye needs a place to just pause for a minute to say, I comprehended that, and now I can go on to another part. It's kind of like the mat on a picture that yeah. separates the image from the rest of the world. What a beautiful way of putting that. I can't wait to see some of your pieces. Of course, we have those. Yep. I want you to show us some other, other pieces you have. Okay, let's right. go down to the studio and I'll show you some other stuff. Great. Uh, these guys are called grass sticks. As you can see, they're quite flexible and they move in the breeze. They have a piece of angle iron on the bottom so you can pound them into the ground, ground and they stand there and behave like grass and the birds like them. Then you have these guys called curlicues and, and here we're getting whimsical and again they can simply be stabbed into the ground but they add something a little taller or a little different to the garden. And these guys I call lollipops. Another thing that you need sometimes in the garden is perhaps a trellis for something to grow on and I try to make them so they're, they're attractive even before the plant grows up. This one is kind of interesting. This is a set of five panels that will mark the fence line between two properties with conifers in between. All right, now Jen, you've showed us all the completed sculptures, mm -hmm. but how do they begin? Well, they begin with a bunch of uh, strap and various other forms of steel that are hanging over there on the wall. They come over here to the welding table and I turn on the oxyacetylene torch and heat everything, heat the pieces up where the weld is going to happen and once everything has reached the right state and the metal is actually liquid, then you introduce the welding rod, which is called a filler rod, and as it melts and drops in there, the, three, the two pieces in the rod become one. And that's the weld. And that's the weld. Mm -hmm. And I can't see a thing out of these. Oh, but frankly, if we had the torch on, you could see. You could see. All right. Well, you can go to our website, diginminnesota.com, and find out more about Jennifer Walcott, her garden sculptures, and, of course, her show schedule. Mm -hmm. That's Thanks true. Again. Thank you. Mm -hmm.